Hello and welcome to this new Algo Builder X tutorial. In the course of this video, we will explore a more advanced strategy than the previous ones, introducing several new blocks, such as drawing blocks. The strategy we will develop today will be a breakout strategy. Our bot will open buy positions when it exceeds the high of the previous day, and conversely, it will open a sell position when it exceeds the low of the previous day. To begin, we will use the check no trades block. We will now have to create horizontal lines that correspond to the highs and lows of the previous day. Next, we will create the condition under which the bot will open a position when the price reaches these lines. We start by dragging the counter block from the block controllers category and configure it as pass once. We select, draw object, choose, horizontal line, and assign a name to this line. For convenience, we create a variable and configure the properties of the line, including style, thickness and color. The horizontal line will be positioned according to the level of the y-axis, we select, candle, candle high, and, candle id 1. We add additional filters by selecting the time frame, daily. In this way, our horizontal line will be drawn at the highs of candle 1, then the previous candle, daily. To improve the bot graphically, we add text above the line. We choose, text, again create a variable for convenience, decide what to write and set the color. The text must be configured along two axes, the x-axis, related to the date, and the y-axis, associated with the price. For the x-axis, we select, candle ID 1, while for the y-axis, we opt for, candle high of candle ID 1. We also enable the additional filters and select the daily time frame. We repeat the process to create the bottom line. We duplicate the blocks. Create a new variable. Change the color and properties. This time selecting candle low and ID 1 daily time frame. We save and now have horizontal lines for the highs and lows of the previous day. Let's also modify the text. We now create conditions to open trades when these lines are crossed. We drag the condition block and create the buy condition. We choose candle close ID 0 and cross above. On the right, we select the object and as the object name we choose the horizontal line variable. When the price crosses this line, we open a buy position. We use the buy action block.
setting the lot size type as the percentage of risk on equity. For the take profit, we can leave fixed pips and create a parameter. The stop loss, we decide to set it at the minimum of the daily candle, selecting custom candle candle low and setting id1 in the additional filters we enable the time frame daily in this way our stop loss will be dynamic and will vary according to the equity of the account in this example we also introduce the trailing stop we click on create advanced protection enable the advanced stop loss option and choose trailing stop. Note, the trailing step represents the activation point of the trailing stop. For example, if I set the trailing step at 5 pips and the trailing stop at 10 pips, when my position reaches a profit of 5 pips, my stop loss will automatically be moved to a distance of 10 pips from the current price. Let us now create the sell condition. We duplicate the condition, reverse the sign, and choose the lower horizontal line. Let's drag the cell action block and proceed with the setup, following the same methods adopted previously. It is essential to pay attention to the fact that, in this case, the stop loss should be placed on the candle high. We also enable the trailing stop. To prevent price from crossing our line several times during the day, causing numerous trades to open, we set in the false condition of the no trade blocks that go to delete the horizontal lines. In the object column, we choose the delete object block, select our horizontal lines and delete the text as well. As a result, as soon as a new trade is executed, the lines and text will disappear. We have configured the counter blocks to prevent the opening of additional horizontal lines when, during the course of the day, the current trade is closed. This setting allows us to limit the opening of positions to once a day. The counter pass once block plays a key role in managing the flow of the strategy. Once executed, this block becomes false preventing the creation of new horizontal lines. However, it is necessary to reset these blocks at the change of the day so that they can redraw the horizontal lines of the previous daily candle. We use the time filter block by always linking it to the no trade. We select a specific time, such as midnight, after the daily candle has been formed. Let's drag the counter block configured as reset and copy the relative ids of the counters we want to reset.
This will reset our counter passes once, at midnight and one minute, allowing them to be active again to draw the horizontal lines in text. Let's create groups to better organize the parameters. Perfect! Let's generate our C bot and see if everything works properly. Perfect! Watch the next video tutorial if you want to learn more about ABX, custom strategies, made easy.